Hi everybody, welcome to uh, my video tutorial on setting up your website through Bluehost with WordPress.org as well as Comic Easel. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I really like Bluehost because it's cheap, it's pretty much unlimited of everything, and uh, they come with a free domain. So once you'll sign up for a hosting package, probably the basic one, go to Control Panel Login. Type in your website address that you bought the domain for, that you bought the domain name for, and your password. Log in. Once you log in, you'll be on the control panel. All right, so we're on the control panel. We scroll down. To web builders, website builders, click on WordPress. It's redirecting me to the Mojo Marketplace, which is where they have all their scripts, their simple installer scripts. And it's directed me to this WordPress section. Start a brand new install. We will go start. It asks us. It asks us to select the domain we want. So I'm going to select the the one I have. You would probably just have one domain because you probably just bought the service. I have a bunch on here, so I'll go check domain. This is a, this is the script. Just checking to see if this domain name is linked to my hosting package. Now it's saying there's there's some folders in there, there's some files in there. Um, are you sure you want me to overwrite these files? And I say yes because uh, most likely they're just empty folders. So we're overwriting the files. Almost there. One last step. Show advanced options. So this is going to just assign a couple of nice characteristics to your blog. You can just write what it is, name of the website, Administration, username, um, I'm just going to make it simple instead of a long name. You can type in your own password, your user admin uh, email address, automatically create new databases for this information. I have read the terms and conditions, install now. There we go, it's installing now, so it might take a couple minutes. Now the cool thing is, once you get this set up, you don't have to really go back into WordPress and log in. I mean, you don't have to go back into Bluehost anymore and log in and do anything through the control panel on Bluehost anymore. Once you have your website set up, and it looks like it's set up now, we can actually go to it right away, and it shows our basic WordPress site. This is a WordPress blog, a standard one that comes, you know, when you first install it. Now it's, it's time to start customizing this. Here's our login URL, so write this down, bookmark this. Here's our username and password, which we'll want to use to log in here. And this is the part we'll want to remember. This is, this is the part we'll access now whenever we want to update pages. Um, anything. Anything on our webcomic. Remember me. Bookmark this page. Save the password if you want. <clears throat> now we're in WordPress. So this is the back end of your website, which will be your comic. So the first thing we want to do is go to plugins, add new. First thing you'll want to do is search for comic easel. And the first one that comes up, Comic Easel. Install now. Yes, I want to install this plugin. It is very standard in web comics. Activate plugin. What 
what Comic Easel does is it allows you to have um, comic strips at the top of your blog and the navigation buttons to navigate through them and chapters and comments for comics and all that stuff. Anything you see normally on web comics, you'll be able to do now. So, and you'll notice it bring it created this new little category here called comics. So, basically, you could start right now adding a new comic. This would be the title of your page or individual strip. You'll add your media. This is where you'll insert media. Insert your comic. Here's directions for how to, to do things. One thing you want to do is go to settings. General. This is in WordPress. You want to change some of these things. I mean, all this stuff you're going to want to dig through. There's discussion. This is how people post comments and you know what you want your comments to look like if you want anyone to be able to post. Um, you'll want to go up to appearance. You can change your header, widgets, customize. This is all stuff that you you know you'll want to get into different themes. Like this is one theme right here. You can search for that through thousands of themes for free, and um, some you can buy, and some some are free. Many are free. Some many good ones are free, and um, then to customize those. Go into Comics and Configure. This is important for your Comics Configure. This is important to um, just go through all these and see which ones you want. This, this is just all specific information to how your comic will you know, appear, how, how you want the home page to be versus the navigation options, uh, archive options, even, even advanced features like being able to buy, people being able to buy comic um, strips from you. Prints. Um, of course, there's much more. This, this is the Pandora's box now you've opened. So, so basically, give yourself a lot of time to dig through this, practice it, um, get frustrated, go on forums, <laughs> and learn some of this stuff. And this is WordPress. This is the back end. This is where you will sign in to your webcomic back end that no one else will see except for you. This is where you will upload your comics, um, upload your blog posts, um, manage everything, and then it will all appear on your site for everyone else like this, minus this navigation bar, which is only for you. Um, so there you go. If you have any trouble, uh, go to the comic easel <clears throat> comiceasel.com this is a forum for comic easel and uh, the guy who created the plugin is very active here and he loves helping you out and this is what he does all day long according to him and um, if you get really stuck you can even pay him a little bit of money to set up your whole site for you and get it going so that you can just start uploading comics right away. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. Good luck.